A free health care provider in Walton County is setting up shop permanently since 2017. The Point Washington Medical Clinic has treated more than 12,000 patients through its mobile clinic and temporary rooms at a local church. But as News 13's Kimber Collins tells us, the group is close to opening its first one-stop health care facility. Free health care is expanding in Walton County. A new building on Highway 393 will become the state-of-the-art Point Washington Medical Clinic. It is free. So it is no fee for service and anyone who walks through our doors and is seeking care we will treat. The new facility will take operations from two days a week to eventually seven with dedicated exam and procedure rooms and a pharmacy. We are able to add dentistry. We'll have three full operatories. We will have a laboratory where we'll be able to do CLIA waved labs on site. On top of medical exams, this clinic is taking healthcare one step further with a kitchen to teach patients about nutrition and a meeting room for fitness classes. We know that this area has expanded dramatically over the last few years and our, we are an area that is medically underserved and so you have increase in population and not enough people to serve that population so a lot of people were having def difficulty accessing care. The group is volunteer based from the doctors down to the front desk workers. With the expansion of the exam rooms and days of service they will need more staff. Everyone does go through HIPAA training but of course we're a medical clinic. Um, and then we get them oriented and find the best spot for them, you know, whether it be um, a screener outside, um, front desk check in, or you know, again as a nurse or a provider inside the clinic as well. The Destin Charity Wine Auction Foundation recently presented a $200,000 check to fully fund its new pediatric care room. In Walton County, Kimber Collins, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Clinic is currently operating twice a week out of the Point Washington Methodist Church. Ribbon cutting for the new facility set for November the 4th.